You are listening to I Am Refocused Radio with your host, Shamaya Reed. This show is designed to inspire you to live your purpose and regain your focus. And now, here's your host, Shamaya Reed. Hey, what's up, y'all? It's I Am Refocused Radio, man. We are here once again. We have a special, special guest, and we knew you in the back in the days at Simply Rain. But things have changed since you've been on this show. What do you go as now? Well, I go as Rain Fernandez now. <laughs> Simply Rain has taken the back seat. Rain Fernandez has taken the front seat. And that's what's up because you've been doing a lot of things. You recently dropped a music video and it's doing major numbers. Like I think I checked yesterday and it's like a crazy 800,000 plus yeah. views yes, on YouTube. Yes, yes. Is that the most views you had on music video so far? Oh yeah, for sure. On a, a YouTube music video, yeah. yes. And um, it was because that one was distributed through a, uh, a label empire. So mm -hmm. obviously the promotion was bigger for that video. Um, but yeah. <laughs> so tech, take us back to what's been going on in your life because last time we talked, you actually dropped the song, yeah. Say Less. Mm -hmm. And then now, speed up forward, you're doing so many things in the music industry. You went viral on TikTok, <laughs> you know, all of that. So what hasn't been like for you? Man, it's been crazy. I can't believe I haven't seen you since, you know, all of that has happened. But yeah, COVID and stuff. Right. So. <laughs> mm -hmm. Ten, yeah. Time goes by so fast. But um, since the since dropping Say Less, I, I mm -hmm. became um, a TikTok influencer as well. So during quarantine, I was able to gain over a million followers on That's this crazy. TikTok platform. Um, and I think obviously it's mostly because I was locked in the house with nothing else to do. And so was everyone else. So they were they were just wanting some form of entertainment. Um, mm -hmm. So that's been such a blessing to be able to uh, make revenue off of that app and, and have fun and create. Then of course I've, I've had um, different opportunities to work with some amazing artists that are up like more than up and coming but mm -hmm. you know very well known right now i'm not sure if you've heard of the artist young blue oh yeah yeah that's big yes that's, that's amazing so yeah. I, I, and, yeah, and yeah. I want that story because okay. how, how did that even come across did he come across your social media did you reach out how, how did that happen? for sure so it's crazy uh the world of social media like you can literally get um connected with anyone so his dad actually found me on instagram i did a uh, a cover to one of his songs. I added some vocals on this song that Chloe Bailey, she had covered uh, one of Blue's songs and I added some background vocals. His dad found that video and he's like, hey, it's Blue's dad, you're so good, this and this and that. But at That's the time, right? But at the time I was like, is this Blue's dad? Yeah, right. <laughs> so I had my dad look into it and um, sure enough, it was Blue's dad and Blue ended up messaging me the next day and was like, hey, just asking all these questions. Are you signed? This and this and that. Um, and before you know it, he was like, can you come out to L.A. like tomorrow? And we've wow. just, um, you know, we've been able to build a working relationship from that point on. And it's been awesome. <laughs> I mean, that's a major deal because yeah. there are people who are trying to get in mm -hmm. and then there's people who are actually in the in, industry. Yeah. Were there any moments that you learned some new things being exposed to that next level of artist type? Oh, for sure. I think just being around him, it's 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 a whole different world. And you really get to see like the ins and outs of, of how this works. Mm -hmm. Like for real, with like an actual signed artist who is actually on Billboard, who's winning iHeart mm -hmm. Awards, BET Awards, all this stuff. Um, so it's just a blessing that I've been able to be a, in his circle and, and have that firsthand experience, you know? Yeah, because they're on schedule. Their schedule oh, yeah. probably looks totally different than someone who just has a oh, yeah. camera on their YouTube channel oh, and yeah. trying to do acapellas. But oh, yeah. <laughs> When you were in L.A., mm -hmm. take us to those sessions because what was the process like? Did y'all sure. just talk it up and have some plans or did you just go right in the vocal booth and do your thing? So the first time I met him, uh, my dad came with me to L.A. And um, it was a very just a, a very chill like a moment of meeting him, honestly. Uh, I walked in the studio and there he was. He had just finished up one of his sessions. 
and I just introduced myself and I was kind of shy and, and he's a little shy too, but he was like, so, um, let me hear some of your music. It, it went just like that. And I said, okay. So I showed him some of my music and before you know it, he's like, oh, I got, I got a, I got a beat that I know you could sing to. And he would call up some of his producers and he's like, hey, yo, send me this beat, send me this beat. I have an artist that I'm working with. And then, um, yeah, we just hopped in the booth and he automatically just started writing to the beat. And it, it and that's how it went with every studio session that we've had. It, he just, this man knows how to write and it just comes off the top of his head. So, yeah. And that is awesome. I mean, I know your parents got to be proud because you've had this growth oh, over man. time. Mm -hmm. I mean, you're representing San Antonio in a big way. I mean, <laughs> we see you doing big things, you know, San Antonio Spurs National oh. Anthem, you know, being connected to the mayor. Mm -hmm. But you really are just stepping up your, your platform. Thank you. And I want to just dive into that a little bit when you see how much you've grown over the years and how much influence you have as an artist mm. because a lot of people are striving just to have that influence but you now carry the weight on your shoulders of that success thank you what is it like to look back and see how much you've grown over the years man <laughs> honestly sometimes i don't even realize um all like how far I've come sometimes I, I'll have to have my moments of realization and and take time out and really go back and look at the the archives of videos and moments that I've had to get to this point um, because obviously there's so much more that I want to achieve obviously mm -hmm. so um, I think when I really sit back and look at it all I'm proud of myself like I've been working since I was 13 and, and making moves and getting connected. And finally, um, I've recently, literally this year, have realized, wow, I do have an impact on people. Wow, mm -hmm. people are inspired by what I do and they look forward to what I post and they want to see more and they're interested. Mm -hmm. So um, I'm proud of myself. And I just hope that I, that, you know, I'm going to keep going. I'm not stopping and I'm, g I'm going to get there. That's all I got to say. <laughs> I mean, from Simply Rain to Rain Fernandez, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I mean, you're doing your thing. <laughs> Thank and you. This is, is pretty awesome to, to witness. Oh, thank because you. Because you're part of a new contest with DJ Khaled. It's called Next Up. It's a music competition hosted by DJ Khaled. How first did you hear about this opportunity and what convinced you that this is something I want to give a shot? Sure. So my dad found this opportunity on Instagram mm -hmm. and he had just messaged me one day. He said, hey, I think you should try this out. Like, check out this contest DJ Khaled has. And um, normally I'm just like. Oh, OK, cool. I mean, I, I've never tried an online contest before, and so. My mindset right now is um, I, I'm not going to just disregard any opportunity. I'm going to take any opportunity that I have. And this is online. This is this. You know, I don't have to travel anywhere. All I got to do is promote, promote, promote yeah. and get my audience engaged. So I said, why not? It doesn't hurt. <laughs> it doesn't hurt to try. Um, so I. I, I made my little profile, I posted my, my music video onto the website, and as soon as voting started, I started getting at it. And now my dad and I, my, my whole family, we're just pushing it, pushing it, pushing it. Mm -hmm. And I've been able to garner a lot of, a lot of votes. So, um, yeah. <laughs> I mean, you said before we started interviews, what, almost seven days left for yes. the voting? Yes. So you listen to this podcast right now. You want to definitely go and support and explain that to the audience. Sure. What do they exactly have to do to able to cast their vote for you? OK, so, um, yeah, right now I'm in the, the semifinalist round. So if I get past this round, that's when DJ Khaled and the other A&Rs will look at the top 10 people that made it past this round and they'll choose the top three winners for the contest. Wow. So I'm trying to get to that level. Um, I'm currently in fifth spot and the goal is to be in first or second mm -hmm. place. Mm -hmm. So all you have to do is go to my Instagram or my TikTok, any of my social media feeds. The link will be in my bio. Mm -hmm. And just FYI, my social media is Rain Fernandez 
R-A-Y-N-E Fernandez. And just click that link and you'll see all different um, voting packages that you could choose to purchase or you can even vote for free. Or if you want to make a, you know, if you don't want to pay 10 bucks, you can pay five bucks. It's whatever. Sure. Um, anything is greatly appreciated. And yeah, it's very simple. So definitely. Is it one of those contests where the person can vote daily until a certain time? So if you vote for free, you only get one free vote. Mm -hmm. But if you want to pay for votes, you can pay as many, as many times, times as you want. Well, y'all heard that. Yeah. And this is a charity. So yeah. half of your proceeds go to um, DJ Khaled's We The Best we the best charity, so that that's, that's awesome. yeah, yeah, foundation. Well, Sorry. There you go. If you listen to this right now, you, you put in an investment, mm -hmm. not mm -hmm. just in the up and coming artists, but like you just said, the foundation that DJ Khaled is a part of. Yeah, that's even more of a reason to get involved. So, yeah, the prize <laughs> prizes right. are pretty interesting. Uh, you have a meeting that you can have with DJ Khaled via Zoom. Yes. You get 25K, and you also get to have a chance to go to a music video filmed in an epic castle mm -hmm. in Germany. Mm -hmm. Now, that's not exciting <laughs> just to think about. If if you were in Germany right now yeah, in that castle, yeah, what would be going through your head? I think, <laughs> God dang, I made it this far, and then, wow, I'm out of the country. This is crazy. Because <laughs> you were saying before we did the interview that it'll be the first time that yeah. you'll go out the yeah. country if first you time. were able to do that. Mm -hmm. Well, whether it happens or not, it's going to happen soon. <laughs> I know that's I, right. <laughs> I, can, I can feel it. <laughs> Thank and you. When, you, when you joined the contest, was it just like you submit a music video or your previous work or did you have to do any singing or anything like that? Sure, you can submit any anything, honestly, as long as it's um, on YouTube and they have a link to it, you can submit a song, a music video, original song, whatever. And so I said, well, I'm gonna share Say Less. Well, that was a smart move because <laughs> I checked out, it's pretty clean. Thank I mean, when I say clean, it's, it's legit. All right. It's, it's, it's dope. You want to check out that music video, no, no shame in this plug. You want to check out right. that music video, say, uh, say less. When people are in this contest, have you met anybody else, any other artists that are, because sometimes people reach out and right. say, hey, right. nice stuff that you're doing. Right. You know, I, I dig it. Have you met anybody so far? Yeah, I've, I've had a few people reach out to me and um, some, are, some of them are like, oh, I didn't get past this round, but I'm going to vote for you. You're That's like, you're awesome. so good. So yeah, I've had quite a few people reach out to me and wish me luck. And they're like, I'm in the contest too. So I'm like, oh, wow. Like people are actually taking the time to look at some of the different artists and look them up and see what they're about. So, I mean, I'm telling you, that's that's the key that I'm saying with your influence is is not just growing and maturing, but you're able to do things now that a lot of people dream about doing, mm. you know? Mm -hmm. And when you look at the things that you're now, you have the access right. to those things. Right. What are you seeing in the future? Because I know you're cooking up some things in the <laughs> studio. I know you're probably doing oh, some yeah things behind the scenes, not just this contest. That's mm -hmm. just one thing on your list. Mm -hmm. I'm not trying to give breaking news here, yeah. but what are some things that are in your head as far as what you're exploring for your goals for short term? Man, short term. Well, finally getting a body uh, a body of music out there, uh, my, my EP, and then um, just finally getting back into the performance scene again since COVID did shut that down, but mm -hmm. we're talking on a bigger level, yeah. um, not just locally, but actually. Travel. Yeah, yeah, and continuing to network, just, you know, I, I'm, I'm, I'm so. I you got connection to yeah, LA, I, man. I know, I know, but it's like <laughs> yeah. the grind never stops, you know? Yeah. So I think just um, taking advantage of every little, a blessing that God has given me and and running with it. That's that is what I'm that's what I'm doing right now. And you did mention God. So how how has faith uh made an impact mm -hmm. in your growth with your career? Oh, it's made an impact uh significantly. I 
I have really tapped in spiritually. I'm a very spiritual person to begin with, but I've taken time to really just calm my mind, be still. I work out a lot too now, like it's part of my lifestyle. Um, so I, I like to take time to meditate and really just think, okay, what's next? How do I, how are we gonna get there? Uh, what what have we achieved already? And, and, and just be thankful for what God has already given me because that's the biggest thing, I think. You know, you have to, if you're going to receive more, you have to be open to receiving it and you have to be thankful for what you already have. Man, I didn't know she's going to be preaching. I'm sorry, my no, bad. No, that's a good thing. That's a good thing because, I mean, that's what this platform is all about. I mean, Focus Radio, we're trying to build a platform not just to inspire people, but to educate them right, to, right. through your life story, through your personal experiences. Yes. So let's dive even deeper into that. Okay. We still have time. <laughs> Those who are an artist right now and they have stuff out there, they have material, they have content, but they're just not going to that next level. Mm -hmm. It's not that they're bored or they're depressed or anything. They right. just they're not going to that next level. You're doing it though. Thank you. What words of wisdom would you share with those out there who are artists okay. and doing great things, but they're just not getting to that next step? Yeah. You're experiencing what it feels like to get there and still go. Yeah, yeah. What would you say generally to those out there who are trying to get to that next level? So whenever I was in this position and, and my team and I had to sit back and really think, what are our next steps? I think you have to kind of evaluate where you are, uh, realize where you want to be. And then I, I'm so big on writing down your goals and um, my dad says, I forget what he says, but basically just having, um, just having a plan to get there and knowing how, like, if, if this route doesn't work, this route, we, having multiple um, routes to get there. So honestly, what I was able to do is look at how I always um, kind of grow is I, I think about hitting bigger opportunities that I, I had in, in the past, like before, before I sang for the Spurs, like the national anthem at the Spurs game, I did um, the hockey game. <laughs> and I was like, okay, great. How are we gonna get to the Spurs game next? How are we gonna get on their list? So I think it's just, it's consistency. And this is, I'm gonna drop a little something for y'all. Consistency over motivation. Cause we're not always motivated. Yeah. Wait, wait, we gotta, we gotta pause right there because <laughs> what you just said is so true. Mm -hmm. You can be as motivated as you want. Yeah. In life, you can listen to A to Z podcast shows, uh -huh. whereas multimillionaires, billionaires telling you all this great information. Right. But the key thing you said was consistency, because that's where the true momentum shift comes. Yes. Because it's one thing to wake up and watch people exercise. Right. Versus. Right. You, you just actually doing do it, it even if it's every day or small steps. Or small steps. But Everything in life, everything in life is, you have to be consistent about it if you want to continue to reach new levels. Um, my biggest example for this is my TikTok account. I did not want to be a TikTok. Which is influencer. crazy. I know. I, didn't, I literally had to close mine because I'm like, there's, uh, no, there's no point. <laughs> I, I did not want to be a TikTok yeah. influencer. And, and I had a very close um, family friend tell me, you need to go ahead and and hop on this TikTok wave while it's still relevant. And I did, mm -hmm. and you know what got me to 1 million followers and getting over 100,000 views a video? It's my consistency. It was listening to my audience. So that's literally, if you didn't pick up anything from this podcast, take that with you, because that's something I live by. Yeah, because uh, earlier this morning, I had a true honor interviewing Michael Rappaport, and uh, he said something that blew my mind. Uh, because it's, it's just the way he said it was so simple, but just very profound. And he was like, don't dip your toes in, mm. go mm. all in. Mm. Cause he was talking about the industry uh, as far as entertainment, because yeah. he's been in TV and movies and very successful. And we was talking about his new podcast. And when he was saying, don't dip your toe in, yeah, yeah. go all in because if you treat it like, eh, uh, then that's how people are gonna react to yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. But to paraphrase and go alongside with what you're saying, when you go all in and you're consistent, mm -hmm. going mm -hmm. all in, 
See, going all in is not basically doing the hard work and then 24 hours you get 2 million followers. Right, no. Go, going all in is when you only get 2 followers. <laughs> yes. And you still bring that same energy. You're happy about it, right. right? Exactly. Touch on that too for, yeah. for music artists out there because sometimes people will take a break because they don't have 2 million followers or they right. don't have that record deal. Right. Why is it so important to have that same energy yeah. even if it's just a little growth? So first I'd like to say... Um, like like he said, don't just dip your toe and you have to go all the way in because you want to be able to invest in yourself. I think if, if you look at yourself seriously, right, and you're creating content that is quality content, quality music, other people will see that. But if you're half aing it, I don't mm -hmm. want to say the word, if you're just half in it, mm -hmm. people are going to see that and they're not going to want to put any effort into helping you or put, because you're not even helping yourself. Yeah. So you, I think, and I, I think Lady Gaga said this, but she said, I, I already knew I was a star. Other people had to catch up and figure that out. So you That's have cool. to carry yourself. You already have to live as if that is that you're living the life you want to live. You have to mm -hmm. know that, yes, you're evolving into this awesome person, that, your future self, um, but I think you, you have to make steps and, and, and start acting as if that's already um, reality. And that's what's helped me kind of grow and, and claim, oh, yeah, Rain Fernandez. Oh, yeah, people see me in this light, you know? Um, I mean, that's that's exactly what this is all about. I mean, this platform, Army Focus Radio, by the way, you listen to Army Focus Radio talking to Rain Fernandez. You, like I said, I can't say enough. You have really grown. Thank you. Since the last time we talked, which you should have because it, it was a while right, back right. before COVID. But the point is, is that seeing what you're doing now, I'm not even surprised. Oh, my God. And it's is one thing for a person to say they're going to do something, but it's another thing when they actually do, do it. it. And they do it in such a way where it's like, you're not even scratching the surface. I had someone on my show recently, and he was talking about the power of living in the now. Okay. Ooh. Because when you live in the now, you don't give your energy and time to the past mm. or to the future that hasn't happened yet. Mm. But he said, instead, you're actually creating the future by what you're deciding to do in the moment. Yes, I, that's, I've heard that and I love that. And I've also heard like, um, you're constantly manifesting things. Everything, every thought, everything that's happened in your life is something you've manifested in the past. Like, I'm sure this, this is something you have literally manifested and it's came to life because of your consistency and hard work. It's funny, you're the second person that said this today because <laughs> when, uh, I know this is about you, but when I you're talked good. to uh, Michael Rappaport today, mm -hmm. I had someone uh, hit me up because I always talk to certain people who keep me motivated. Right. And they was like, man, like you, you doing it, man. Mm -hmm. And I said, you know, it's funny. It's like, you don't even know this, but probably like four or five years ago, I actually wrote in my iPhone, in my notes, mm -hmm. that one day <clears throat> I want to interview global influencers. Wow. And you speed up four or five years later, mm -hmm. bam. Wow. You know what I'm saying? Yes. So that's the power of, like you said, not just being consistent, but... Every day, if you try your best to live in the moment, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. it's like you're not just intentional about it. Ooh. You're creating memories. Yes. So you either create memories of bitterness. Ooh. Yep. Right? Yep. Of regret because mm -hmm. you never tried. Mm -hmm. Or you create memories of I'll never forget this ever. I love that. You know? Yeah. Because Hate to quote Eight Mile, but <laughs> you had one shot. Mm -hmm. Oh, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Are you gonna let it slip? Oh, no. You see what I'm saying? Right. So, to wrap this up, because time always goes by right. quick Jeez. when you're when you're having a good no time. No kidding. What if you can talk to anybody in the world mm -hmm. right now? Yeah. On that microphone. Uh huh. What will your message be to them as far as your music career, and as far as the legacy you want to leave? Oh, man. <laughs> I think oh, man, there's so much that the world 
ha- hasn't even seen. I have so much to uncover and to tap into. And um, just know, I, you, I'm kind of nervous to say it, but I love me some Beyonce and Selena. I just want you guys to know I am going to be your next Texas girl for sure. And I'm I'm tapping into that that type of legacy right there. So uh, I hope you guys enjoyed. Again, my name is Rain Fernandez. <laughs> and with that, man, uh, we'll wrap this up by giving your plug for this Next Up music competition hosted by DJ Khaled. Um, remind people uh, to go deep in the pockets to make this investment, not just for mm-hmm. you, but for a good cause. How can they vote for you one more time? Yeah, for sure. So go ahead and click the link in any of my social media platforms. I have a link in my bio. And as soon as you click that link, you'll see different voting packages. Or you can vote for free or you can choose um, how many votes you'd like to give. But I appreciate everything, honestly. And once again, how can they find your website and also watch your YouTube channel? Sure. So anything that you want to look up um, regarding me is Rain Fernandez. That's on YouTube, Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, um, Apple Music. And my website is RainFernandez.com. Well, once again, listen to me Focus Radio talking to the one and only Rain Fernandez doing big things, right? Thank Big you. things. Y'all don't ever want to forget that name. Uh, I want to say thank you for taking time. Your busy schedule talking to us today. Oh, thank you for having me. I Am Refocus Radio is brought to you by FOO 4 Star and Holy Crab. FOO 4 Star is a family-owned Asian restaurant in San Antonio, Texas. We have been a local favorite for Asian cuisine for over 10 years. With nothing but full smiles and fast service, you'll be leaving satisfied. Come on in for some authentic Vietnamese food. Holy Crab is one of a kind Cajun Creole style seafood restaurant located in Universal City, Texas. We offer traditional seafood items as well as chicken and steak. We also offer seafood boils. Come give us a try, you won't be disappointed. You can find these two eateries in Universal City, Texas at 2921 Pat Booker Road.